Taguan, Wagwan, to all of my nice and decent people out there, to all of my viewers and subscribers. Thank you very much for coming and visiting me here on Renegade Crew TV. No, we're back at it again, the second part. There probably will be more of the saga between Joshi, Shaba, and Shaba's manager, Unbounty Killer. No. So, you know, um, everybody's already up to date with everything. I'm not going to go back to the video and show you the video and the interview with uh, Anthony Miller and Joshi, right? So, I'm just going to go ahead and go right into it. So, after the Bounty Killer um, posted on social media about Shabba Ranks, you know, ex-manager, because it seems like he has not been his manager for some time now, and it seems like that Joshi stirred up some things, right? And what he did was he basically just shake the tree. He shook the tree and some of the weak fruit then follow, right? And that's what usually happens. Some things could be said about the interview, some things could be left alone. We could say a, a lot of good things and you could say some bad things about it as well. But, what I, if you go ahead and watch the last video that I was watching, I, I, that, that I, I went ahead and I did yesterday. Now, something happened with my with my stuff on the, the video and if I go up right. So, anyway, let's need to hear what there's up now. Go ahead and go check it out. Right? And as a matter of fact, you see it on the card on the top so that way you can go ahead and go check it out a little bit and see some of the stuff I said. And the story that I did talk about with Shabba Rocks. No, that's not to say that Shabba Rocks is not supposed to get the props that he's supposed to get because, you know, for Jamaica, for all Jamaicans, for what he can do for dancehall, for what he can do for reggae and the light we can give to, to our little, little country. Right? And um, the country of our fathers and forefathers and so on and so forth. Right? So Shaba would always get the respect for that. But at the same time, me a man, Shaba a man, everybody a man, yeah. you know, nobody me not go um, give anybody more respect than God. I mean, I go give nobody no more respect than they give me. I don't know them. All right. So anyway, and Bounty Killer made a very good uh, observation here. And he said yesterday evening, um, he shared a statement from Josh's brother Harry Hype's IG page which stated that the utterance made by Zanadu was seriously troubling and alarming as well as filled with racism, classism, and hate. And I find it seen to be very loud, disturbing, and disgraceful. What makes it worse is that the statement is not only geared directed upon the, the young first nation artist, Jashi, but the entire Jamaica. The statement read in part, the statement also said that Xanadu referring to the country of Shabbos birth as that the country is irresponsible, disrespectful, and wrong. And you know what? First of all, it was an interview between two people. 
So everybody can be disrespectful for that, right? That's the first thing. And the man, the man, the man there, if he get more than just slap on the wrist, because he went over, over the top. Now, did Jassy, Jassy said that Shabarang forgive man um, a strength? Yes, he did. Was he wrong in that? It's all an opinion. In my opinion, he could have said some more things he couldn't. But at the same time, Shabarang's, you know, I heard some people said today, and this is very true, Shabarang's, I, I don't know of any new music with Shabba is doing. Right? I don't know of any new Mr. Lover music where I'm doing. Shaggy is one artist where I see him do music and he not stop. He just do a, a, um, an album and get a Grammy feed last year with Sting. Right? So Shaggy non stop. Sean Paul just do a come off a big tour. Shaggy non stop. Shaggy just do a big album. And he have a whole heap of um, artists with their pan there. Young artists, we ain't give, we ain't give, and his wife even pointed that out as well. So Sean Paul always get respect, and I always give him respect for that. Because Sean Paul don't fray for that. And he might the first artist when we ever yeah. see where get the nas- international claim and notoriety and the, um, the lift we ain't get. And he do it half a juggling. And he's still upon the juggling, he, he non-stop, you know, so you have to give him props for that. And uh, so may I forgive them props for all of that. And a very, um, continue on with this. So, um, continue on with that. I have to say that um, the statement that he made to a young, young guy, a young kid in 19, 20 years old, for him to say something like that, it was very rude, it was very out of order, it was very bright, and like Bounty Killer State, confirmed the arrogant and ignorant mentality. And that's what I may have to say about that. And now after that, Zanadu come out and him do a... It did a well-deserved and well-warranted apology to Jashim and to the fans of Shaba and anybody else who was offended by this man's statements. So, he said, as I read, I get on dental mag, uh, my name is Charles Zanadu Enes. Uh, and I am an independent artist. I do not represent ERE or Shaba ranks in the capacity of management, road manager, or any other capacity. Uh, capacity. Now, Shaba ranks um, the ERE that is uh, Emperor Ranks Entertainment, and that is Shaba ranks um, Entertainment. Uh, record label which is basically you know he's his own business he's his own entity so of course he creates a, a business for himself and any comments attributed to me regarding the talent Joshi do not reflect any comments or views of Shabba Ranks or ERE I do not consult or speak to Shabba Ranks or ERE management before these comments were made so he did not do that. So Shabba Ranks had nothing to do with this at all. My opinions do not reflect those of Shabba Ranks or his management team whatsoever. So Shabba Ranks have, he didn't say he have nothing to do with this. Again, you know, he, he just kind of just reiterate it and, and kind of make it just clear. Make the statement clear, you know. Uh, I want to be sure that my actions do not negatively impact on Shabba Ranks' character and on the brand, which is so highly regarded to by his peers, fans, and colleagues in the business. I apologize to Shabba and Jashi for any misrepresentation and misinterpretation that 
may have occurred due comment attributed to myself. So here, this was a response to the statement that he made. This was an apology, and I believe this was a well-warranted apology because, first of all, everybody know you can't compare the accomplishment with Shabba, Shabba Ranks had made and compare them with Joshi. Two of them can't even mix. Two of them can't go with them one another. That's just the way it goes. Right? No matter where you do, no matter where you say, the two of them can't go in the same space, much less the um the same even breadth. This is a this is a big thing for Joshi right you now. Still. You know what I mean? For them, for even being in the same sentence, as a matter of fact. But, at the same time, at the same time, some of the stuff that Joshi did say just makes some sense. And it is true. But, even though it is true, does it make it right? Now, because that statement can be true, but that doesn't necessarily make it right. You can see a man walk on the street and you see a man and you, and, you, and you look upon him and you say, Yo, the man ugly and the man fat and he black and he white or whatever. Right? And you say it and you say it right in his face. Or you can do that to a kid. And what if that was your kid? What if that was your child? What if that was uh, your picnic that you, you know, it was walking and something wrong your picnic and somebody pointed out and said, say, Yo, Look on the picnic, something wrong with him. Yeah, I cross. In this, in that. It's true, but is it right? And for a man who be an elder to Joshi, was it right for him to make the statement? And especially the way how he did it. And I call him on a shit pan in shirt, tail and all them thing there. And then, after that, same thing with Joshi. You know, he make a statement. It may be true, but is it right? You know, some things is better off left unsaid. Everything you have to talk about, and everything you have to, you know, in, in, you have a saying where it says, see I'm blind, ear and deaf. You know? That means you see something, you know what happened, and you're blind. You know, if you say nothing about it. Uh, you know, and you hear what people say, but you know, you, you, um, you don't hear it at the same time. No, I want everybody to go ahead and comment down below. Now, considering that this was a statement that was released by Shabba and his, his team on a behalf of Xanadu, right? This was released as a statement, kind of apologizing for the statement that Xanadu made, right? I want you to comment down below. I, I want to know what you're thinking. Do you think that Xanadu deserved to give an apology, not just to Shaba, but also to Jamaica? And of course, the apology is for Joshi, but does this apology need to also be for Jamaica as well? And all the people who support Shaba and Joshi and all the things that was being said or what transpired here this, in this time. Also, I want you to go ahead and comment down below and tell me what you think about the statements that Joshi made. Do you think that he was right? Do you think that he should have said it? Do you think, you know, go ahead and comment down below tell me what you think. Go ahead and hit the post notification, hit the like bell. Until next time, I want everybody to live good, be good, and goodbye.